Hey everybody, it's Troy with Ebo Central. Today we're taking a look at Parrot OS Home Edition. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. If you're familiar with Linux, you're familiar with Parrot OS. Parrot is a worldwide community of developers and security specialists that work together to build a shared framework of tools to make their job easier, standardized, and more reliable and secure. The version most people are used to is the Parrot OS Security Edition. What it is, is it's a special purpose operating system designed for penetration tests and red team operations. It contains a full arsenal of ready-to-use pen test tools. But what we're looking at today is the Home Edition. Parrot Home Edition is a general purpose operating system with a typical Parrot look and feel. Basically, your daily driver. They have an official forum. They got Parrot OS and Hack the Box to introduce you to Pawn Box. You can use that in the browser. They got community links on Telegram, Matrix, IRC, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. So those are all the official channels you can get there. And also on the website, they got the community. You can zip over to the community, and it brings you down here. They got their blog, documentation, get involved, team, donations, and gadgets, and partners. So they have a lot to look at on their website. If you're interested in looking at this operating system, it's parrotsec.org. So let's go ahead and close out of this. If you download the Home Edition, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. There's no welcome screen. You've got install Parrot OS up here, and you've got the README license right here. Let's go ahead and read that. And when you open it up, it just gives you a small welcome. It includes the copyright, operating systems composed of several programs. This is just a README. If you want just a little bit more information, you can scan through that real quick. I love the wallpaper out of the box. Let's right click and see what kind of options we have on wallpaper. And it looks like we have the Parrot lock screen, Parrot, Parrot. It looks like we pretty much got the same picture across the board. All of them are the same. Let's apply and see if that one looks any different. It does. The Parrot's over off to the left a little bit, a little bit more color. So we'll close out of that. You have one panel. It's on the bottom. Of course, over here, you've got your date and time. You've got your hidden icons right here. Notifications, Bluetooth, K Organizer. You got KDE Connect down here. If you're an Android user and you want to receive notifications about texts and phone calls right on your desktop or laptop, download the KDE Connect app onto your Android phone. Then you can sync it up with your desktop. Then you've got internet, USB, battery, and then, of course, volume. Of course, you've got your four different desktops here. That helps with multitasking. If you have to have three, four, five programs open, you can get to them really quickly with a click of a button. Then over here, you've got your system load on CPUs. I've got this machine issued two CPUs. Right now, you're using less than 10%. Actually, it's at 1%. What I want to look at real quick is we're going to come over here to the left side of the panel. Of course, you've got the application launcher. You've got Firefox. You've got File Manager. Kate, which is a text editor. You also have VS Codium, which is a text editor. Then you have LibreOffice system settings. I'm going to go ahead and open the console real quick. I want to see what kind of resources we're using at present. I want to see if they have HTOP and they do have HTOP out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize that right now. I'm sorry. I apologize. I've actually issued this machine for CPUs, but we're still less than 3% and at rest with just the console open. We're using 926 megabytes of the three gigabytes of RAM I have issued to this machine. So that's pretty good. That's pretty lightweight. It's a little heavier than Manjaro with probably some of the embedded security features. It's gonna run a little bit higher on resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. We've already looked at Firefox. Let's go ahead and open up the file browser, which is Dolphin. And it opens up and I do like the color that they give the folders right off the bat. And with Dolphin, you have a little bit of customization you can do over here. You've got your usual suspects. But if there's some sections over here that you don't really want there, you can make changes. Like recent, if you don't want a recent there, all you got to do is right click on it, go down here, put hide icon, and it hides the section. And search for, if you don't need to look in there, just go ahead and hide it. Gives you a little bit more room right here. 
And if you're like me, you want these to be a little bigger. So come down in this open area, right click, go to icon size. Right now they're set on small. I'm going to go ahead and bump them up to large. And there we go. They're a little easier to see. Another thing, if you want these in a different order, if you want to be able to access information or files quicker, let's say you want your downloads up under home, you just pick it up, drop it under home. Then you can also move your pictures up, move videos up. You set it up to how you like to use your file manager. So that's Dolphin. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then you've got Kate. We've already looked at Console, VS Codium, and then LibreOffice. Let's go ahead and open up LibreOffice. Okay, there it's loaded up. So let's go up here to help. Let's go about LibreOffice. And you're running version 7.0.4.2. It's going to be a little older version because Parrot OS Home is based on Debian. So it's going to be on a more stable branch. So we are going to close out of this. But what I am going to tell you, what you need to do is go over to Synaptic Package Manager. Let's do a search here real quick. If you're leaving Microsoft behind and their Office Suite behind and you're going to use LibreOffice, you're going to want to download the Microsoft Core Fonts for the simple fact that if you're doing any kind of collaborative work with somebody that's using a Microsoft product and you're sharing documents back and forth, you need to have the same kind of format that Microsoft has, so you cannot miss a beat with these people. What you'll want to do is you'll want to go over to search and put in TTF-MS and just hit enter. And what it'll do, it'll do a search and come back and tell you true type fonts, TTF, MS core fonts, installer. Click on that. You would go up and apply. Let me show you. You just click there, mark for installation, mark, and then click on apply, and it would build it and install it. Also, if you anything you want to define here, OBS, let's go OBS Studio. There's OBS Studio. You can mark it as well. You can mark as many as you wanted. If you want to install 10 different apps, just mark them, click apply, and it'll install them all at once. So just wanted to go over that real quick. So let's go back up here. Let's look at some of the applications that come with it. You got Anonymous Surf, Cryptography, Metadata Cleaner, Genie, Games. You got Board Games, Graphics. You got GIMP, GwynView help internet you're going to have a lot of things on internet you've got the firefox browser out of the box if you want to go surf anonymously you just come down here to the tor browser the onion circuits are installed and if you're not familiar with the onion circuits basically it's a way to surf the web anonymously you can also look those up if you've got more questions on them or watch some of my previous videos on distributions like tails then you've got multimedia you got brazero cheese dragon player mpv vlc Office, we got LibreOffice, we already went through that. Pen testing, science and math, LibreOffice math, settings, Bluetooth manager, onboard settings, print, preview, system settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at system settings. When you open system settings up, this is what you're going to see right here. Right off the bat, you've got global theme. Right now, we're using Breeze Dark. I'm going to leave that there. If you want to find more themes, all you got to do is come down here, click on get new global themes. I'll show you real quick. And we want to go with the highest rated. And once it populates, it gives you different types of themes that you can install. Now, you could spend hours upon hours in here looking at themes because there's literally thousands of them. You can customize this to look however you want it to. Then, of course, you've got plasma styles, application styles, colors, fonts, icons, cursors. You can change any of those that you want to. You can also adjust workspace behavior, window management shortcuts, startup and shutdown, search, personalized notifications, users, backups, KDE wallet. So if you download it, throw it on a USB and put it in a virtual box, you can play around with that a little bit. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then utilities, system, you've got Sweeper, Terminator, KCalc, Genie, Kate. There's just so much you can do with this operating system. And then, of course, power and session, shutdown, log out, however you want to do that. Parrot OS, it's a clean operating system. It's KDE environment based on stable Debian. You really can't go wrong. Tell me what you think. Are you going to download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine and take it for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go today, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials or maybe buy me a cup of coffee or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.